Jameis Winston takes center stage tonight on Thursday Night Football when the Bucks take on the Rams. After getting off to a 1-3 and three start, the Bucks are 5-4, and four, and Jameis Winston owns the NFL's sixth best QBR since Week 7. Winston has 18 TDs passing and five touchdowns rushing this season. Marcus Mariota, who was taken with the second pick in the NFL draft, has a tough test against the Patriots. The Titans are 3-10 and 10 this season, and Mariota has 19 touchdown passes. Two rushing and one receiving this season. Skip, there's a lot of numbers I gave you there. A lot of numbers. Who's more impressive? <sighs> Stephen A., I still have to give Jameis the slight nod here, but I'd be the first to admit to you that Mariota has been significantly better than I thought he would be. I told you that I was so not sold on him that I wouldn't have taken him until the second round. I'll hang in with that because I'm not sure... That, that time won't prove me right about that. But Mariota, who started three years at Oregon, three full seasons, one under Chip Kelly, clearly was a little more ready for the start of the NFL season than Jameis was. But Jameis, after that disastrous first start against Mariota, has proven to me to be exactly what I thought he would be, a no-doubt franchise quarterback who can and I think will make Pro Bowls. If you look at the stats, Mariota's this year slightly better. But if you really analyze it, and I've watched both of them a lot, Tennessee has been a, done a much better job of putting Mariota in a sort of a, a, a college-friendly type offense. It's a lot of dinks and dunks and run after catch, and he can run with the football. He is a stud athlete who can accelerate downfield. So that's a weapon Jameis doesn't have. But as a downfield pocket passer, not in the league with Jameis. And when we talk about victories, not just stats, but victories, Jameis has them at six and seven right now. Jameis won at New Orleans, as did Mariota, but Jameis won at Atlanta when Atlanta was still flying pretty high. Jameis did beat my Cowboys, then he went to Philadelphia and just crushed that outfit when you, you can say they were flying low at that point, but five touchdown passes at Philly. To me, against that defense, which has a lot of athletes on it, was very impressive. Then they beat Atlanta again. So he has six, six wins, one against Jacksonville. Mariota has three wins, got hurt, missed a couple of games. But big picture, I am impressed so far with what Mariota has done, but I am more impressed with Jameis. It's a tough one for me, Skip. I, I, I'm going to... I'm just going to be, I don't want to use the word neutral because I'm not, but it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to pick one over the other. Here's I got why. It. Jameis Winston, to me, I think has potential star written all over him. So in the long haul, I make no modifications in the fact that I think Jameis Winston was deserving of being the number one overall pick. Um, his ability to motivate and galvanize the troops around him, I think it's there, and I think it's impressive. Um, I'm looking at the 85 quarterback rating. Uh, you know, the, 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 the QBR, I think, is at 62. Um, it's impressive. But what stands out about me to Mariota is I think Mariota is playing with an inferior team to what Jameis Winston is playing with, number one. Number two, Skip, Mariota has been sacked 11 more times than Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston has been sacked 24 times. Marcus Mariota, despite the dipping and dunking that you alluded to, he's been sacked 35 times. Jameis Winston's been sacked on 5.5% of his dropbacks. Mariota has been sacked on 8.8%. Uh, 8 so when I look at it from that perspective, I think about the pressure being applied to Mariota, I think about the deficiency in terms of the personnel that he's playing with. I think about the change that has taken place with Ken Wisenhunt being gone, Malarkey being in place. I think about all those different things, not to mention injuries to Marcus Mariota, where he's missed a couple of games. I look at it from that perspective, and then I say to myself, Jameis Winston hasn't had any of those issues, and yet Marcus Mariota still has slightly better numbers in terms of TD passes, lesser interceptions, better quarterback rating, better QBR, despite being sacked more. All of those things even the scales to me. So although Jameis Winston hasn't disappointed us and we've seen the capabilities that he has had, I think we might need to step back and give Mariota much more respect than 
initially warranted to him by some prior to the NFL draft and even beyond. This kid is better than a lot of people thought he was going to be. He's got a future in the NFL. I think he can do he can end up doing some special things, especially Skip. Are you ready for this? Especially this. And I haven't confirmed it or anything like that. But when I heard it, it sounded like it was plausible. What if Chip Kelly ends up leaving Philadelphia and going to Tennessee because Tennessee is willing to hand him the whole bag, meaning coach and football operations with Mariota since Mariota's the guy that he got to Oregon and, you know, he, he coached for a year you know, before leaving for Philadelphia. What if this guy ends up in Philadelphia, in, in Tennessee rather, in Nashville, coaching Marcus Mariota? Who knows what the future can be for him? So all of those things are things that I think we need to take into consideration in terms of looking at Winston and Mariota. And dare I say, Skip, I might call it a dead heat. I might give it even. Hmm. To your sack point, remember, hmm. Mariota has some Johnny football in him. He will take off. He'll take off much quicker than Jameis will. And when he takes off, he'll tend to get sacked because he'll get looped in and have to run around okay. and go down. Jameis okay. impresses me more and more. Remember, Jameis threw most of his interceptions early. And now, lately, he's been on a roll where he's played pretty efficient, clean football. But Jameis yeah. has big-time NFL stand in the pocket and take the blitz right in your face kind of guts to him. He'll stand in the pocket and deliver throws and take the hit, like just right between the eyes, in ways that Mariota doesn't. Not that Mariota didn't have guts to him, but Mariota's more duck and run, you know, go, go for it. And I think that's why, again, is his offensive line not quite as good as Tampa's? I'll give Tampa a slight edge in the offensive line. But J Jameis won't get sacked because he will he'll deliver well, the football under fire. Here's the biggest thing I think we can give to Jameis Winston. Skip Bayless, he threw seven interceptions in his first four games. He did. He's thrown four interceptions since. He got a hold of four. it. Four. He figured it four, out. Four, yep. four, four interceptions in what? The last nine games? Yep. Four interceptions in the last nine games. I, that's impressive. Okay. That's impressive. And, and Mariota has won what I would call kind of quality win, if you will, even though he's playing for a bad team. He won at New Orleans, as did Jameis. But I listed the other Jameis games. We'd say, wait a second. These are some big-time wins for a rookie quarterback to go to Atlanta and win when they're flying high. So, to me, you give, you give, I, you just give Jameis the slight edge. Yeah. But I think Mariota, I think Mariota is a hell of a lot better than a lot of folks thought he would be. We'll see how that plays mm -hmm. from here on. Yep. yep, and we'll see Jameis tonight against the Bucks, and they've ruled out Vincent Jackson for that game. Up That's next, not good. No, it is <laughs> not. We switch gears to the NBA. LeBron has had KD's number. So what do the guys say uh, about Durant? The guys will discuss this after the break. On the Hook is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here.